What is up, Karatex? In this video, we'll be talking about this week's Double Money Event Week as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for June 1st through June 7th, 2023. The current prize ride for this week is the Weevil. This vehicle is primarily based on the Volkswagen Type 1 Beetle and has a normal price of just under 900000 and a trade price of about 650000 to get this car for free, you have to place top one, meaning first place in a Pursuit Series race for three days in a row. Now in terms of performance, this car is in the Compact's class and is pretty average, being around mid-pack in that class. However, it does offer tons of customization and is generally a pretty nice car to own. In terms of the test drive vehicles for this week, we have the Sentinel Classic, the Calico GTF, and the Spectre as well. And for current gen console users, we have the HSW Brioso RA as the HSW test ride vehicle for this week. Now in terms of a casino podium vehicle, we have the Drift Tampa. This vehicle is primarily based on the Hunicorn Mustang, rest in peace Ken Block. It has a normal price of just under a million dollars, which is pretty expensive and it doesn't really offer any customization except for the liveries and the internal performance mods unfortunately. But in terms of performance, this car is in the sports class, and it is one of the slower ones in that class. However, it's still pretty fun to drive, just don't try to drift with it because it's not all that great for drifting. In terms of the dealership cars for this week, for luxury autos we have the Ignis and the Adder. And for Simeons we have the Baller ST, the Gang Burrito, the Chimura, the Virgo Classic, and the Banshee as well. Moving on to the discounts, in terms of property discounts, we have 20% off the hangers as well as 20% off the upgrades and renovations for them as well. Now usually we see 30% off properties, so I'm not sure why Rockstar is only doing 20% this time around, but at least we got something. Moving on to the vehicle discounts, we have 30% off the Obey 10F. So this car is in the sports class and makes it into top 15 for most tracks, which is pretty impressive. It's obviously still way off the pace of some of the top sports cars, but it's still a really nice car to own with great customization and a nice driving experience as well. Next up, we have 35% off the X80. So this car is in a supercar class and is in top 25 in terms of track performance around the pace of the T20 and the Vision. So a pretty quick car, but nowhere near the top. Either way, it's still a really quick car in a straight line with good acceleration and top speed, but the handling of this car has always been really strange. It's very floaty, almost like it doesn't have downforce, so it's a really strange car to drive, and if you're in a race or just driving, you know, spiritedly on a road with lots of elevation changes and bumpy sections, the car just won't stick to the ground all that well at higher speeds, so it just makes it really sketchy to drive. Continuing, we have 30% off the Adder, the OG. So this car is, of course, in the supercar class and used to have the highest top speed in the supercar class back in the day, but obviously a lot has changed over the years, and now it sits towards the bottom of the class for track performance. Moving on to the Warstock website, we have 30% off the Volatol, the second largest purchasable plane in the game. This one has the typical upgrades at the hangar, including armor, engine, etc. And in terms of weapons, it only has the bomb upgrade. Honestly, it's a pretty useless thing to own if I'm being honest. It only seats four players, so it's really more of a gimmick so that you can fly around with just, you know, a massive plane, but that's pretty much it. Next up, we have 20% off the Pyro. So this is the fastest plane currently in the game with a top speed of over 220 miles per hour. Plus it's a two seater so you can bring a friend with you and it even has a homing missiles upgrade. Just a fantastic and useful jet to own. Moving on to Lita's Travels website, we have 30% off the Nimbus jet. So this plane is a Pegasus vehicle with no customization unfortunately. It seats 8 players, but honestly, I think this one is pretty useless even with this discount. In terms of unlocks, if you log in any time during this week, you'll be given the pink and green camo livery for the Avenger. 
Also, various adversary modes and missions are returning this week, such as G Rating Hot, G Rating Cold, Air Quota, Air Force Zero, and Drop Zone as well. In terms of double money, we have double money NRP on the adversary mode stockpile, plus double money NRP on the data leak missions, free mode events and challenges, the junk energy skydives, the flight school missions, and the time trials as well, which is honestly a great variety of double money for this week. And lastly, for the time trials, this week's RC Bandito time trial is Construction Site 2. This week's normal time trial is Fort St. Kudo. I highly recommend using a quick motorcycle for that one. In terms of the premium race for this week, we have the Supercar Race Cutting Corners. I highly recommend the Emerus or Krieger for that race. And if you're on current gen, I highly recommend using the HSW Weaponized Ignis or the HSW Cyclone 2. And lastly, for current gen console users, the HSW Time Trout is Pacific Bluffs. As always, the HSW Hakachu Drag would be the best one for these. In terms of my vehicle discount pick of the week, I'm going to have to go with the Obey 10F. It's a really good car, both in terms of customization, styling, and driving experience. It's not a top performer, but still a great overall car that I think is worth its price. Anyways guys, overall this event week is pretty good, 6 vehicles on sale this week which is really surprising compared to the 3-4 to four we've been seeing for the past few months. Now unfortunately no businesses on bonus money this week, but at least Rockstar gave us a decent variety with the other double money opportunities this week. But anyways guys, thanks for watching, hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.